Hello everyone. Hello everyone. In this lecture, we'll be learning about uh, we'll be learning about layout design. We'll be learning the ba very basics of it and the st stick diagram. That's a concept. We'll be learning these in details when we go to the practical class of microwave. So that class will be important for you all. Now, while designing layout, what layout is is layout is how the IC internal contacts or internal MOSFETs or transistor of the IC looks and we have to design it. We have to design how it looks. This is not a very easy process. This is a very tedious and time consuming process. We have to design gates that fit together nicely. We have to maintain the design rules. We have to build libraries or standard cells and we have to we have to consider that there is no error and design rules are met. And we want to do all these things in the minimum area possible. So we have to take a lot of things into consideration. We have to again standard design rules is VDD and ground are, should be uh, should be towards the edge, and the adjacent gate should satisfy design rules that they, that is there should be a minimum distance between the gates. The NMOS should be at bottom. That is the pull down network should be at bottom, and the PMOS or pull down network should be at top. And all the gates included should be in, included in well and substrate. We'll be learning about this. In this lecture later. Now let us look at a cross section of inverter to understand how MOSFET works. Here we can see here we have n plus and n plus uh, a two n plus diffusion layers. So this part is an n, n MOS transistor. N plus diffusion layer means it gives an n, n MOS transistor in a p substrate. So here this is this may we can consider is a source. We may consider this as tray. And here we have polysilicon gate and oxides or insulator and this is our we can say and this is uh, all the things are color coded here so this part of the circuit is our NMOS and this part of the circuit is our PMOS now we know PMOS are generally developed at n type uh, using n type substrate but here we cannot uh, develop two parts, the pull-up network in one substrate and pull-down network in other substrate. So we cannot uh, design them in two separate uh, semiconductors or two separate, uh, separate lattices. As a result, what we do, we take a P-substrate and we create a well of N-doping here. This, this area is highly doped with N-type materials. As a result, this, this is called N-well or this is a well of N-doped region. Now this N well, this small area acts as a substrate to our PMOS and we get two P plus diffusion layers within it. They work as a drain and source and here we have polysilicon gate and polysilicon gate and all. This polysilicon gate is connected to this polysilicon gate which is not being shown. Here we can see that drain of this MOSFET is connected to the, uh, to here, this MOSFET, this MOSFET is connected. Uh, if you look at the inverter structure, it will be clearer to us. So here, this point, the source of the PMOS is connected to VDD. Uh, the drain of the PMOS is connected to the drain of the uh, uh, NMOS. That is, drain of the PMOS is connected to the drain of the NMOS. And the source of the NMOS is connected to ground. So these, these are connected by this metal layer here this metal layer and two gates are connected and they are connected to our input here we have input A this gate and this gate are connected which is not being shown in the cross section and they are connected to input A so we in this figure we are viewing the cross section that is what happens when we cut the MOSFET or the cut an inverter but if you are not cutting an inverter if we are having the top view what we will see if you look at the top view, we will be seeing something like this. Uh, uh, the figure might not be very clear. Here, in this PMOS, there is a P, P, P plus region. These P plus regions are separated by this. This is our polysilicon gate. And so, here we can see this is our source of our PMOS. This is our drain of, drain of our PMOS. And this region that we see this is the n well n well now again in case of since the substrate is p this this thing we see here 
this is an n plus dope region that is here we have our n mos two n plus dope region are separated by the polysilicon gate so here we'll get our source here we'll get our drain and this drain and this drain are connected by a metal over here so what it does is we can see that this is the source of pmos let us draw this part is a pmos let us draw the pmos the source is connected here to vdd drain is connected to an nmos so let us draw an nmos drain is connected to the drain of nmos and the source of nmos is connected to ground again we can see the gate of the pmos is connected to the gate of the nmos so these are connected here so from here we from here this metal piece we get our output and in, in the polysilicon we provide our input so this is a basic inverter so this thing over here is called the layout and there are several considerations uh, which we will be making when we design layouts now we have seen the layout of a basic inverter and the it's very difficult to draw the layout of a basic inverter or layout of anything with bare hands and since we cannot draw the layouts with bare hands we want to do something we want to draw them using symbols and we can do that using stick diagrams see if we look at it we have denoted the metals using blue this polysilicon this is n-type diffusion p-type diffusion contact so the p-type diffusion is separated by a polysilicon layer so it creates a pmos over here this is a pmos this PMOS is connected to the VDD and this is connected to the uh, this uh, connected to this part of the circuit. Here we have our N type diffusion layer separated by a polysilicon gate here. So as a result, this N type diffusion layer is, con uh, is formed, uh, uh, forms an NMOS. And NMOS also, since PMOS and NMOS will have drain and source, and this is a symmetric device any part can be a drain and any part can be a source so we are considering we can consider two things we can consider this as drain and this as source or we can consider the opposite if we look at the actual circuit we can see so we can see here we have source drain and we have drain source so we we can see the drains of the two transistor connected so here since we are connecting it here we call this the drain of the PMOS we call this the drain of the NMOS if these two are the drains the source has to be here obviously the sources have to be here the source is grounded and this source is connected to VDD and there is a polysilicon gate which acts as our metal so our whole layout can be easily drawn with stick diagram they do not have to be scale and they do not of scale and they do not have to have any any design tool associated with them we just need to understand how the circuit or how the layout is connected one thing is to be noted that whenever two different kinds of things are connected there is a cross mark this cross mark indicates contact that is for example this cross marks connects the metal to the p-type division layer this cross marks also connects metal to p-type division layer this contact connects metal to n-type division layer this cross also connects metal to n division layer it is to be noted that this A here, so this polysilicon silicon here is connected to here as well. That is, there are two polysilicons that are connected. But since this is also a polysilicon, this is also a polysilicon, two same type of materials need not be connected with the contact. That is to be uh, that is to be mentioned and remembered. And in case of stick diagram, if you are drawing it for assignments and uh, and anything, you should draw it with color pencils and dry or dry erase markers so that you can draw them easily. And obviously, we have to we have to draw them with color pencil because otherwise we would not understand what part is actually indicating which thing. That is here we are indicating P diffusion layer by yellow. So we will not be understanding if you are not doing it by using color pencils. Now, the stick diagram is basically a shorter format or a easier format of what we say of a layout. So, in case of stick diagram, it doesn't need to be of scale. It is just a way of representing. But the layout is actually what uh, what the circuit will look like. For example, this is this is called this is metal. How the metal in the circuit will look like, how the polysilicon will look like, and all that. 
So as a result, layout has to be accurate. So some definite rules must be uh, must be followed for designing the layout. The rules are first rules are wiring rules. Wiring rules is we know we there is a parameter called lambda design parameter. It is design this design parameter is defined in such a way that two lambda is equal to feature size. Size. Feature size is length of transistor, minimum length of transistor. So this parameter lambda is half of the minimum length of transistor or the length of minimum transistors. So this parameter twice, uh, this parameter lambda is very important because our design rules are defined based on this lambda parameter. It states that all the wires, all the metals and polysilicons and all, all the wires will have to be at least 4 lambda thick and the wires will, between two different wires there has to be a distance of 4 lambda that is each wire will be 4 lambda thick and between two wires there will be a distance of minimum 4 lambda so as a result each wire will be associated with an area of 8 lambda as simple as that each wire will be associated with an area of 8 lambda and transistor uh, then another thing is about wells you know uh, in case of p type mosfets we have to introduce n well so that we can make p type mosfets over here so this n n well also must be uh, this n well will surround the entire transistor it will surround the transistor in such a way that uh, it's in its surrounding in this place or this place in all the four directions there has to be a minimum space of 6 lambda that is it will surround the transistor and it will go an extent of 6 lambda beyond the transistor that is each each PMOS will have 12 lambda between opposite transistor layer so between the MOSFETs there has to be See, between these two MOSFETs, there has to be a well of 6 lambda and here also 6 lambda. So, between two MOSFETs, there must be a minimum of 12 lambda differences. And this two, 12 lambda, this distance also creates an advantage because this gives us a, 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 this gives us a way where the metal tracks can be, it gives us a space where metal tracks can be gone. So, using this rule, we can actually we can actually understand or we can actually assume the area of a circuit uh, we can assume the area of a circuit by using this simple design rule that is if the designs are perfect that is if the designs are made completely accurately based on design rules we can find the area of a circuit so how we can measure the area of a circuit we have all we can measure the area of a circuit using the wires how we can use it measure it we have said that each metal wire will be of 4 lambda thick and between two metal wires there will be a distance of 4 lambda so each lambda will be associated uh, each metal wire will be associated to an area uh, with a width of 8 lambda so in order to uh, if it's a square region or a rectangle region if we want to measure the area of it we have to measure length into breadth here we will also do the same at first we measure breadth this metal will have to be separated from this metal from this metal and from this metal as well as a result we have four metals side by side so what will be the minimum minimum breadth minimum breadth would be four metal and each metal is associated with eight lambda into eight lambda so total of four eights are 32 lambda so minimum breadth is 32 lambda and what will be the minimum length minimum length will be here is a metal layer here we see there will be a metal layer number two this is number three this is number four and this is number five so there are five metal layers uh, five adjacent metal layers here one two three four five so our length would be five times eight lambda is equal to 40 lambda so the area would be is equal to 32 lambda into 40 lambda. It is to be noted that this is the minimum area required for uh, drawing or designing layout of 
transistors a layout of a gate similar to this or circuit similar to this. Medium MMA radius is 32 lambda into 40 lambda. That's all for this lecture. We'll be learning about layout in very details in our microwind class. Uh, in this lecture, we have we have learned a very little about uh, about layout. We have learned just the inverter in microwind. In class, we'll see the inverter and we'll be learning about NAND and we'll be learning about complicated circuits and easier methods of uh, designing those complicated circuits using uh, uh, and design the layout of those complicated circuits using the software microwave. So please keep an eye on that lecture. That will be very important part and integral part of the theory course as well. Thank you.